Welcome to World Harmony, Can It Happen? I'm your host, Stuart Thomas, and tonight we're going to look at help keep to, uh, to, uh, <laughs> God. help keep access to Sun open. You know, not too long ago, we received an eviction notice from the city saying we had to be out of this building by the end of June. Uh, we also got the news that our city manager told us that uh, well, actually, he put in the budget, zero money allotted for Access Tucson. Now, the basis of the creation of Access Tucson was an agreement with the first and subsequent uh, 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 cable operators in the city. I think McCall was the first one here. Uh, now it's Cox Community Cable. But uh, in order to get right away, they had to pay the city to fund and access Tucson, a Channel 12, which is a city channel, and, uh, and uh, the education channels, uh, uh, TUSD. I'm not sure if they fund uh, uh, Pima or not, and, and U of A. Uh, but they do fund TUSD, Tucson Unified School District. And we used to pay a fee for that. Uh, I, I am a Cox subscriber and we had a PEG fee steady for public access, which is Access Tucson. Uh, e is education. Uh, channel 12 is, uh, I'm sorry, tw uh, Channel 12 comes next. Uh, education means TUSD and possibly Pima Community College. And, um, and the G is government, which is Channel 12, which is the, t uh, the Tucson City uh, Station. Well, uh, we uh, have gone from over a million dollar a year budget to if, if the budget were approved by the city manager starting July 1st, zero. So we have one of our guests who will introduce in just a moment, circulated a petition. And I hope Julie will talk about the mm -hmm. petition and maybe we'll have, have people will, will support us uh, by the end of the show. We have a panel to discuss the situation and uh, come up with also some ideas to help save Access Tucson, which is a, a vehicle for, I know what I called it in the, in the uh, flyer, a medium for democratic expression. And it's a voice for democracy. I mean, anybody can have a show as long as they go through, they first they join the station, which is free, at least it was when I joined, and then take some minimal courses and if you want to produce a show, you take the producer course, as I did, and you come up with an idea, and then you meet with a facilitator, and get the thing started, and recruit a crew, and you get moving, and you get guests, and uh, voila. Now, I will tell you, uh, I tried to get a show of mine several years ago. I've been with Access doing shows since 1995. I, and I've been getting a lot of good feedback about the shows. And I thought, well, let me try to get the show I was doing then on the commercial stations. NBC, Channel 4 here in Tucson. Uh, nine, which, uh, Channel 9, which is ABC here in Tucson. Uh, 13, which is CBS here in Tucson. And, uh, and Fox, Channel 11, which also is uh, uh, kind of runs Channel 2 with on Cox, which is their, their secondary station of theirs. All, even Channel 6, which is the, the uh, KUAT, which is the, uh, the PBS channel. Everybody talked money. Everybody talked money. Um, and I met with the general managers of all of them except Fox. I met with the, the program manager. Here, you don't need money. I mean, Access Tucson needs money, yes, to survive. But we're not, I, nobody asked me to pay for my show. Like, like I, I mean, I would have to uh, cough up a certain amount of money to have a show. No. Here, you can have your own show. It's the voice of democracy. And we have varying opinions here at Access Tucson. And we'll be talking about things as we go along. Let me introduce our guest. Uh, uh, the, the, next, to, next to me, uh, she goes by the kind of the, the informal name, Mary, Demo Mary Advocate, see? Um, but her name really is Mary... Terry Schultz. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I referred to her as a community advocate. But talk a little bit more about yourself, Mary, if you would, please. That's what I do. I'm involved in community relations. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of marketing, research, writing, that kind of thing. And 
more working with the community from a marketing aspect rather than PR work, which is just essentially giving somebody the bright story and polishing the image and putting it out there. Uh, try to find out what the needs are and to articulate those mm -hmm. and be a voice and advocate for mm -hmm. whatever individual or organization hires me. Well, I met Mary actually at a meeting, uh, at a community mm -hmm. meeting about widening Broadway. Uh, and that would affect where I live because the area they're talking about widening it, widening it affects me where I live. And, uh, and she was there also and uh, we got talking and uh, I thought she'd be a good addition to the show. And she's shown interest in Access Tucson since we started talking at least anyway. Absolutely. I think it's vital. It's extremely important to keep Access Tucson. Uh, I do a lot of work throughout the community so I recognize the importance it's tremendously important that we keep access to Tucson. That's why I'm interested and thank you for inviting me to be on your show. Well, I'm glad you made it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. John Brakey, who is, who is co-founder of... Audit AZ. Audit AZ. I, I was trying to remember which word came first. Which stands for <laughs> What's that? Americans United for Democracy, Integrity, and Transparency. <laughs> And John, what is this, your fourth or fifth show? Something fourth or like fifth, that? I guess. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure to be here with you. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. And, and, and uh, all of these, all of my guests are very knowledgeable. Uh, tell, talk a little bit about your background. Uh, I, I think it's, it should be quite interesting. Well, you know, my background is that uh, uh, I'm an activist. And mm -hmm. activists act and, and get good. involved and really do a lot of grunt work. And who I've been very fortunate to work with a lot of very talented people. My area of activism has been into elections. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, I can honestly say I have no real fear of voter fraud. I have a fear of election fraud. And we've been investigating for 10 years. And the number of shows we did with you was about the yeah. different elections we've monitored, yeah. the shenanigans which are still going on in court. You know, we're, uh, Bill, is, uh, now we're into the uh, higher courts uh, up in Phoenix. And that's a story I'm not going to get into right now because uh, to me the story really is Access Tucson, what's happening to our media in Tucson, the consolidations that are going on. and and the fact that really that we're losing our voice. We don't have the investigative reporters that really go out and dig into stories, but you do have people like us who are sitting here who are activists or act, uh, who go out there and advocate uh, trying to make a, a better community that we live in. And, uh, and transparency uh, is very, very important. And uh, you know, the newest suit, that uh, letter I sent you to others and they were waiting for right now a verdict to come out is on the situation with the city that uh, we filed records requests and they were denied to us. And you know, yeah. based on democracy is our right to know and hold our elected officials accountable and the bureaucrats that work with them. And, uh, and with the city, we've had a heck of a time. And we started off with a case, uh, something about this Grand Canyon University and the golf course, which turned out to be uh, a real fraud that involved TRIO, and if this thing had gone through, that would have cost the residents of this town, and this is no fooling, 80 to 100 million dollars in this crazy lease program, uh, that they were gonna take this golf course supposedly, and you know, I videotape all the depositions, and people can find my stuff on YouTube if you wanna watch this stuff, and that's just Audit AZ on YouTube, it's a way to find it. Uh, it's incredible, incredible that what has come out, and we just had a trial um, over a month ago and waiting for that verdict to come out, which we feel very confident that we won that. And now it's just a matter of trying to get that information and keep pursuing to show the, the problems that we're having in government and why it's important for Access Tucson that let's say that I can come here and put my voice and, uh, and inform people so that they can be better educated to know what's going on. Well, you've had years of interaction together with Bill Reisner, the attorney. Over 10 years now. 10 years, 10 wow. years. Isn't that incredible? Mm -hmm. What's that? Incredible yeah. to think that, yeah. Uh, yeah. that you'd see a problem and say, wow, there's solutions to this. And it's called transparency and having verifiable elections. Boy, is it a crime well, to have a whole, verifiable elections? <laughs> there was a whole Too question much, about the RTA election in terms of, well, in, well, in terms of the whole RTA election. Oh, that, yeah. And so you've had experience with that 
and you've also had experience with the uh, uh, the El Rio situation, yeah, and, and perhaps it's, others it's too. It's I don't incredible know. what we've uncovered. Yeah. But yeah. getting the media to do something, uh, you know, you have to kind of go through uh, Chuck Huckleberry's media staff. I mean, you know, Pima County has a department that has ten people in it to put out a press release. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. Or maybe they're <laughs> monitoring the show. Okay. And, uh, or let's say getting with reporters and saying, you know, don't cover those people or they don't know what they're talking about or gee, the advertiser doesn't want to work with you. Uh, I, I, it's a sad thing to say that maybe that we live in a country that makes believe that it's that used to be that other country, that our democracy is slipping out of our hands. Well, let's, let's work to keep it going. Absolutely. <laughs> Martha Dominguez, uh, talk a little bit about, you have a very interesting, we all have interesting backgrounds actually, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm, I'm calling you human rights activist, so that that's only part of your, of your picture. Talk a little bit about, about yourself, and, but talk also a little bit about the fact that of, of the uh, Access uh, uh, Albuquerque background that you have. Um, well, I like to call myself a human rights activist because I'm not a one issue or a second or a third issue. I look at all people. I believe all people have a right to their voice. I believe that all people have a right to have housing and a job that is not causing them to not have enough to maintain their families. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the main reasons why I work in the community. I do politics as well, but I want to tell you personally, uh, I don't believe any government works for the people anywhere in the world. They're, uh, they're basically an impediment, in many cases, to people living their lives. So I tend to go more directly into communities uh, to have discussions about, for example, employment, that America has changed and that you go to school for so many years and you may not be able to have a job. That is sad. That to. is unfortunately true. Yeah, that but it's a, it's a reality that came mm -hmm. with the financial and it has been a reality for a while, but more so after the so-called criminal actions of the banks and all these people that out of our pockets, the government gave them money. So um, I try to get people to be empowered themselves, to know that we have to change the way we live for our mother earth and sustainability, but to also learn to have employment designed by then, and I'm very supportive of worker-owned cooperatives, which I have a lot of experience and in New Mexico and here in Tucson, I'm happy to say, I have a team of people that came out of the Occupy group who we are working on setting up a diverse amount of economies in the communities so that we can keep the money in the communities and we can make our communities a better place to live for all people. And that's why I kind of use the human um, because I do a lot of expansive. I also work with children because there are future and children in our country here in America are dropping through the cracks. And the